All right, we are back. We're at Ketchikan. We're on the runway and we're in the Relay Scout today. We're going to leave that uh, Twin Otter parked and we're going to... Basically, we're going to take a trip out to CZST Stewart, which is a, an airport that's not too far away. We planned a bit of a circuitous route because we're going to go and have a look at some of the glaciers en route and uh, treat this as a sightseeing trip really and I'm doing it from the virtual cockpit so you get a good sight of uh, we're really doing this to look at some of the some of the sceneries quickly up in this aircraft We've got two notches of flaps to help us. Let's do a quick turn around this way. And there's the airfield. It's that nice 3D multi-level <laughs> airfield. We missed out on the big ship I wanted to look at but uh, so, we're going to put us on autopilot, go on to nav, hold, have we got GPS? We should be intercepting that GPS course right about now. So we're just passing an, in an inlet, we could take that inlet there. Let's do that. We're going to fly up this valley. Alright, we've got altitude hold at 7,000 feet. We're just pretty much level with those clouds, which is not, not good. So this next turn should take us right on top of the glacier field. It's not fantastic in detail. The end of the glacier as we head into that valley. And then there's open water ahead, which is where we're going. So this is a fairly old or big scenery by now. This was innovative somehow when it came out. I can't remember why it was innovative something to do with the amount of detail on the ground and textures. You can get this in X-Plane 11 as well. I might actually acquire the X-Plane 11 scenery and duplicate this flight from Ketchikan. I don't think there's a Ketchikan product, payware product, for X-Plane 11. But still, it would be nice to just duplicate this and see so a lot of snow. <laughs> There's the strip. We've got a town next to it. Presumably that town's called Stuart. And that's ice off to the left there. Perhaps in the summer that melts. Who knows? The strip looks like a strip from up here. Nothing much to distinguish it. Lots of ice in the river. Again, according to season, that may or may not vary. I mean, the town doesn't look particularly interesting. It all looks like default buildings, honestly, from here. Something ahead to the left. There's a bridge there over the river. Go downstream a bit, 
there's uh, looks like there's some some more buildings downstream. What a very extensive piece of scenery this, I have to say. Well, I mean, the river looks okay as we get down there, but not a huge amount to see. Got to sort this elevator trim out, there's something going wrong here. Might have been a crosswind going here. Let's keep it going, land it long, because there's not much to see up here. In fact, just maybe not landing. Okay, there's a there's some buildings. Come back around. Looks like some lumber stacked at the end there. That's very shoddy. Let's pull it in. Alright, so that's kind of nice on the ground. Got plenty of guns and stuff around. Cones, aircraft. There's a guy there. Is he doing anything? Some nice static aircraft models. More logs over there. So these buildings are pretty nice around the around the back. Oh yeah, the shadows. Those are those are baked in shadows. Those were like if you look at the product page, that's still a feature of this strip. It's a fake, of course, because those shadows don't follow the light source. They look kind of, you know, interesting. <laughs> That's some nice you 
you know, it's a very small area that's modelled. There was a hangar or something up there, further up. Is it further up or further down? Let's pull off and have a, have a look at this end. Another aeroplane there. Well, that's a taxi where we could have come up. Nicely kind of grooved terrain actually on the taxiway. Another Cessna. There's some stones here, is that significant? Those buildings over there off the outside the fence, they're just default. Another decaying old building. Is this a hangar? Can we taxi into that? We'll probably taxi into that if we wanted. Graffiti! Oh, look at this. Is this a taxiway? Not really. So, so it looks nice, but as I say, there's very little of it. I would guess this is a light airport in terms of in terms of the cost. You'd hope so, because uh, you paid thirty dollars for this, you'd be feeling short change right about now. Let's magically change the season so we can see how it looks in the summer. Okay, the weather's improved. Let's go. So we can see underneath that snow we've got some nice vegetation. I'm going to say the, the vegetation looks good and, and this cracked distressed runway surface oh and there's kind of a drainage channel there as well. That looks pretty nice. Taxi up to the end. And we're going to just take off and have a little bit of... Well, just take off and then land again, just so we can see it from the air. Oh yeah, that runway looks fantastic, I've got to say. I don't want to taxi all that rough stuff to get onto it, but there you go. Let us go. She looks very different according to season. Now what I thought was ice in the river was actually probably just sand bars covered in snow. There's that bridge. Take a look at that. What a spectacular bridge. A little bit more detail in the, the valley walls. Now we can see the, the greenery. But as we saw, there's nothing really downstream of here, so...
landed in long so we get down to that apron oops overshot <laughs> to the taxiway and then park it up There we go. CZST Stuart. <laughs> 